Hey, what's going on guys? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to find an exhaust leak using a smoke machine. And this video is partly brought to you by the good folks down at AutoLine Pro. They actually furnished this machine for us today so that I can make this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and hang our machine on the uh, hood here, like so. Now go ahead and hook up your leads to your battery. Red on red, black on black, red is positive, black is negative. Now once you got your leads hooked up to your battery, go ahead and click the switch to heat only. And we're going to leave it on for about roughly three minutes. You got to let it get good and hot inside there and start to produce smoke. Okay, once you've got it heated up well enough, you can go ahead and flip the switch to the second position here, which is heat aux. And we're up and rolling. So we got it hot enough, we're ready to go. Go ahead and turn it back to heat only. And then we got to move our machine down next to the vehicle and run this back towards the exhaust pipe in the back. Now something I do want to caution you about, the sides of this machine actually get rather hot. Be careful when handling it. You could possibly get burned. I haven't, I'm going to go ahead and touch it for you. It's not actually hot enough to, to burn me, but I got, I don't have any nerves in my hands. So <laughs> anyway, just be careful when you're handling it. I would actually suggest handling it by the hook here. And there's actually a warning on the side of the machine here that says it gets extremely hot. So just be careful there. So it helps to have an adapter such as what you see right here. In order to do this, uh, this goes right into the exhaust pipe like so. Then you take your nozzle and place it right into that. And then we're going to go back over there. I got the machine on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and switch the switch to heat aux and get that pump pump and smoke through the exhaust system. Now folks, we're about to get up underneath this vehicle here, and if you're ever operating up underneath a vehicle, you got to make sure that you got your wheels chalked and the parking brake is on. Now if you jack up your vehicle, you need to use the appropriate tools and equipment to do that, and I don't have the information available on this video to help you safely and properly lift and support your vehicle. You need to get that information elsewhere. I would suggest a repair manual and an owner's manual. All right, let's crawl up underneath here and see what we can find. There's my cat. It's looking pretty good there. Uh, flex pipe don't look too good, but I don't see any smoke coming out of it. Oh, wait, there we go. We got something there. Oh, looks like my muffler's got a hole in it. Let's go on the other side and get a better image of this. Oh, yeah, I've got a hole right in the side of it right there. Yeah, that muffler is toast. So guys, in my opinion, this is the best way to find an exhaust leak. It's extremely easy, quick, and very accurate. So that was quick and easy, and yes, it can be just as quick and easy on your vehicle or whatever vehicle that you're working on. However, don't let how quickly we figured out this problem on my truck deter you from doing a thorough job on your own vehicle or whatever vehicle you're working on there. You want to be very thorough. You want to check the entire exhaust system, starting with the exhaust manifolds. Check the top, the bottom of them. Make sure that they're not cracked. Also check the gaskets going from the exhaust manifold to the head there. Make sure that the gaskets aren't leaking any smoke there. Also check your flanges. Be sure that they're in good working order and that they aren't leaking any smoke. Your catalytic converter, you shouldn't see anything coming out of the catalytic converter. Resonators, mufflers, the rest of your exhaust system, the pipes and whatnot, make sure that they're good and tight too. Now, there are some things that can leak that may lead you to believe you got a problem and you don't actually have a problem. So let's talk about that real quick. So right here, I wanted to point out on this muffler, you have this little hole at the bottom of it, and that's a weep hole. That's actually there to allow a little bit of the moisture that accumulates in the exhaust system to escape and leak out. That's supposed to be there, and you will see smoke coming out of that hole there. there there's probably gonna be one on the front of your muffler and on the rear of your muffler. So if you see smoke coming from that, don't worry about it, that's absolutely normal. Same thing with a resonator. This here's a resonator and you can see that it has a weep hole as well. Totally normal for that to leak a little bit of smoke out. So don't trash that if you see smoke coming out of that hole there. Also, I've seen certain unions on exhaust systems leak and not really be a problem. For instance, this union right here, every one that I've checked with a smoke machine has leaked just a little bit 
on this portion right here. So I'm going to say that it's normal because every one that I've checked, it, it leaks. So I don't think I have a problem if every one of them is leaking. Now, going back to the smoke machine here, I've been rather impressed with it. I will be doing a review on this particular product here in the future, and I will post a link down in the description of this video to that video when it becomes available. I'd like to say thank you to AutoLine Pro for providing this for us, and if you're in the market for a smoke machine, I do highly recommend this. The quality of smoke that comes out and the amount of smoke that comes out is just really phenomenal. The thing I like particularly about this machine is the fact that it has a built-in compressor, so you don't have to hook up shop air to it. It's very compact, very much almost ready to go right out of the box. So great machine. Uh, we'll post a link down in the description to this machine here. Uh, you can go to AutoLine Pro's website and check that out and uh, make a decision from there. So folks, as always, please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. There may be some things I need to clarify. That's where I always do that. Check out the description down below, guys. And please read the disclaimer at the very end of it. Like and subscribe all that good stuff. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.